Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, more advanced Excel features like formulas and pivot tables to uh, come up with um, how to, to see how to, uh, NFL players, what type of players they pretty much are. Like are they risky players or if they're more safe players. So that if we get that type of information we can kind of know then what type of tournaments we want to play them in. If they're risky players, we want to play them in the big like GPP tournaments because you want they give you a chance to score a lot. If they're more of a safe play, then you want to play them in your cash games. So, in order to do that, we need to create a few formulas. But first, on this is the NFL game logs from 2015. See, this is week one. But if you look down, I mean, it's got all 17 weeks in here. And um, we got all the different stats. We got the fantasy points, and we're gonna do an average right here. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's make sure we filter out all the zeros. So these are players who just didn't play that, that game and we don't want this affecting the, the formula so let's get rid of all these zeros. There, so now we've got, we've got less uh, records but we've got all players who just played. Because we, we don't want, uh, if the player not playing, to go into uh, the deviation here. So we're going to do an average, and to do an average, we're just going to do this formula called average if. And what average if will do, it'll only give you the average of the player based on a criteria. So if we just did average of all these numbers, it's going to do the average of all the players. We want only the average of, here of Tom Brady. So what's the range? The range is column A. And what's the criteria is whatever we want it to be, which would be cell A2, which is Tom Brady. So then when we copy it down, it'll be the next player's criteria and what are we going to average we're going to average the fantasy points we'll click OK and Tom Brady averaged almost 22 points a game last year we'll copy it down a little bit and here's all the averages now here we're going to do a deviation and the deviation is what tells us what type of player this is if they're risky or not so if a player averaged 20 and then they scored 20, they'd have a deviation of zero. Because to do that, we're going to do fantasy points minus the average. So like when we, if we copy this down, it's going to show you what the difference is. However, sometimes we're going to get negatives. We don't want negatives in there. So we're going to put something called ABS in front of it, parentheses, and then another parentheses. What this means, that's a formula. It's called absolute value. So that means it's all it's going to do is take all take the signs away from it. So now see this, all these negatives here, they just became positives. But it's the same result. So it's just giving you what the absolute value of the difference is, whether positive or negative. And then we're going to average out all these positive or negatives, and we'll come up with pretty much what the higher or the lower deviations are. So let's copy this down. There we go. So I'm going to paste it in. So now we've got all our uh, average and deviation. And now let's create a pivot table on this for a quick way to summarize it. So you can go to insert and pivot table. Uh, this formula should be filled in. Click New Worksheet. And we're going to take player and drag it down to rows. So we got all the players here. And now we're just going to take standard deviation, move it to values. What it's doing now is summing it, but we don't know. I mean, this could only be, like here's AJ Green. This could be one game, five games, 16 games. We, we're not sure. So we're going to change, go down to here, change this to value field settings changes to average and let's actually change the number format too. We're going to change it to number with only two decimals. It'll just, just make it look a little cleaner instead of having all these threes, like all these decimal places. 
We'll click OK. Click OK. There. So now we've got all of the um, average deviations. Like for AJ Green, we can, uh, if we would look, he probably averages maybe around 10 points, but he's got a standard deviation of 7. So that means some games he'll maybe get 3, some games he'll get 17. It could be high, we're not sure. So before we check, let's add position in. It's over here somewhere. There, position up to filters. So now we can just look at one position at a time because some like quarterbacks probably has high, have higher than other ones. So let's just look at quarterbacks for now. Here's all the quarterbacks. Now look up the data and then filter this. There. So it looks like EJ Manuel has the greatest uh, deviation for average to, to score. Marcus Mar Mariota is pretty high. Cam Newton's pretty high. And if we go down towards here, Jay Cutler, only 3.5 3 points. So he's pretty consistent. Same with Carson Palmer. He's going to average you pretty close to what, what you're going to see every week. So these are the guys that you want to play like in your cash games. And here's the more risky plays. Marcus Mariota is pretty high. Like some games he might score four touchdowns, other games he might get zero. So those are the guys that, that could blow up that you want in your GPP games. So let's change it. Let's look at running backs. And here, D'Angelo Williams, pretty high. Thomas Rawls. Uh, Foster's pretty high. If you want to find a consistent guy, let's go down towards the bottom. And some of these guys might be lower just because they, they don't average many points. So they can't go up higher or lower. But, then, I mean, you'll, you'll go through and you find a guy, Mark Ingram, only three-point difference. Amir Abdullah, Duke Johnson, they're all pretty consistent. Gio Bernard, they only uh, like a three point difference. These guys up here have a lot more. So these are the guys, Arian Foster, you might want to play more in your GPPs because they're more, more likely probably to score touchdowns and give you a higher uh, deviation. You can also, if you want to take the fantasy points and throw it in here too, you can add more columns to this. And now we'll go to average. And here, so you'll see how many points these players averaged. And if you want to find more safer guys, like here, Alfred Morris averaged six. Or actually here, TJ Yeldon averaged 11. He has only a standard deviation of three, so he's pretty safe. You're pretty much going to expect him only between, to get between eight and 14 points. But if you get a guy like, like say, uh, here, Chachanic West, he averages 10, but a standard deviation of 7, so he's going to get between 3 and 17. So I think you get the picture of what I'm doing here. So a pivot table and formula is a great way to uh, do this advanced type of uh, functions to uh, see what type of players they are. Thanks.